Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I am going to show you how I made this pink velvet cake. I will be sharing the recipe with you, but we are also going to be doing other fun things. On today's video, I did go ahead and color all of the things that I used using the Sugar Art Master Elites and Elite Dust. So I will be showing you how I add these colors into chocolate buttercream and my batter so if you're ready to have fun and learn these techniques and this recipe keep watching into my mixing bowl i will be adding my butter sugar and eggs and i am going to start mixing these ingredients on medium speed for approximately three to four minutes the key to a velvety velvet cake or like a spongy moist velvet cake is usually buttermilk or a mixture of vinegar and baking soda. But in this case, we will be making our own buttermilk at home. So here I have a full fat milk and I did go ahead and add the juice of one lemon. And as you can see, I did go ahead and do this step while my other ingredients are mixing. And once you add in the lemon, just give it a quick stir and we're going to let it rest for a few minutes. And while we let it rest, I did go ahead and take the time to add in my colorant in this step. So here I have the Sugar Art Master Elite Red Rose and you only need a tiny, tiny little pinch of it to create the pink velvet color that we need. So once we have that, I'm just going to take it and mix it into my milk very well until all of it dissolves. And as you can still see, my mixer is still going in the back with the first three ingredients. And while that's going, I'm going to take all of my dry ingredients and make sure to whisk them all together just to get rid of any lumps and bumps. I'm going to start adding in my dry ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my dry ingredients in three portions and then my wet ingredients being the buttermilk in two portions. For this part, make sure that you do blend or mix the buttermilk before adding it in so that it doesn't look lumpy like it did here. We're going to mix on medium speed until everything combines very well. And just to reiterate, I did go ahead and add in my flour in three batches and my liquid in two. I hope this makes sense and I hope it didn't confuse anyone. But as you can see here on the second part of me adding in my buttermilk, I did go ahead and mix it so it doesn't look lumpy and it looks a lot better than the first pour. During the mixing stage, we do want to make sure that we don't over mix or that we don't mix too high because what we are looking for is a moist, spongy and velvety cake. Once all of our batter incorporates, I am going to go ahead and add in my vanilla and my almond extract. And I will continue to mix this on medium to low speed, just enough for it to all incorporate to approximately 10 to 15 seconds. And you will also notice that the color of our batter will almost remain the same once we bake it and you'll be able to see that in the end. So that's another reason why I recommend the Sugar Art Master Elites because the colors are very true to what they show in the bottle. I prepared two eight by three inch pans and I did go ahead and split the batter evenly between both of these pans. I did preheat my oven to 325 degrees and we are going to bake our cake for approximately 38 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick in the center comes out clean. This is how my cake looks when it came out of the oven and as you can see the pink is almost similar to the color of the batter before we baked it. For decoration of my pink velvet cake I decided to make some chocolate eggs and here I am using the Sugar Art Elite colors in hot pink to color my first chocolate. And the mold that you see back there is from Wilton and I did get it at Target. And simply what we are doing is I did go ahead and melt down some almond bark in this little silicone bowl and I added a tiny bit of sprinkle of the Elite color into my chocolate. 
So when you first put in the Elite Dust into the chocolate, you're going to see that it kind of like holds itself together. So you have to take your spatula and just take your time dissolving it into your chocolate. Now, I also advise adding a little bit of it first and just mixing it in to see if that's the shade that you want or if you want your shade to be a little bit deeper because it does take a little bit of time to dissolve it into your chocolate so you don't want to add too much and then have to add in more chocolate to fix the color. Also, I do want to mention as a tip because I have tried this in a few different ways, but I recommend that if you do have silicone bowls to melt your chocolate that way in the microwave using intervals of 10 to 15 seconds. Um, I've tried melting my chocolate in glass bowls before or using different methods and it just doesn't work for me. Um, these bowls, I did get them from a company called um, Cakes of Eden or Cakes of Eden. I will link all of this down below, but I actually got them in a giveaway, but I'm pretty sure they have them listed on their website and I'm pretty sure you can also find them on Amazon. But that's just kind of like a little tip that I have from my mistakes through the years. So here are all the shades of chocolate that I made. I actually made four shades. And as another tip, I recommend placing all your chocolate bags into like a little glass bowl. Just in case they harden up, you can place them into the microwave and easily melt all of them at one time. Once all of your chocolate is prepared and melted, just go ahead and snip the tip of your bag and simply fill each egg cavity to the top with your melted and colored chocolate. And to smooth everything out, just simply tap it with the edge of your, with the edge of the mold, just simply tap it onto a surface and it will flatten your chocolate. I did go ahead and place this mold into the refrigerator for approximately seven minutes just to help speed up the hardening process of my chocolate. And another reason why I love this mold is that when you're ready to take out your eggs, you simply flop it over and simply pop out your eggs using your hand because it's very flexible. So to speckle our eggs, I am using Elite Deep Brown from The Sugar Art. And I took a little bit of it and then I'm just going to dissolve it using lemon extract. You can also use Everclear or vodka to dissolve it. And what I'm doing here is I'm simply taking my brush, dipping it, and just tapping off a little bit of the excess. And with my finger, I'm flicking the top ends of the bristles onto my eggs to create the speckle effect. To top this pink velvet cake, I am going to use a cream cheese frosting. Be sure to check the description box for the ingredients and the recipe to make this frosting. And always keep in mind that you can make it more sweet or less sweet than what I recommend in my recipes. So here, what I'm doing first is I'm simply taking all of my ingredients and I'm going to mix them to create my frosting. Once I have the frosting ready in this mixing bowl, I am going to just make sure to scrape down the sides to ensure that all the ingredients are well mixed. And I am going to take the Master Elite Red Rose from The Sugar Art. And like I mentioned in the beginning and in this whole video, a little bit goes a long way. So the whole time that I've been measuring out the little bits of Elite Dust and Master Elites, I have been using a one quarter teaspoon measurement, but I don't use the entire thing. So here I did go ahead and take that same little spoon and I simply took about a pinch of this red rose and placed it into my mixing bowl. You can always mix in a little bit and add more, but it's harder to take out if you add too much. So please be mindful of that. And I actually think this shade of pink is perfect for our cake and it's also perfect for Easter or actually for any occasion that you're going to use this cake for. Like I said, you can add more, you can add less, but for me, this is actually my favorite shade of pink. 
And now that we have all of our components ready, we can begin to put our cake together. So as a tip, I always like to add a little dollop of either ganache or frosting in the center of my cake board before placing my first layer of cake just to make sure that it stays in place. For this specific cake, you don't have to be neat or you don't have to have a perfectly iced cake. Our goal is simply to have a yummy, delicious pink velvet cake, not the prettiest on the block. So please be mindful of that and just have fun with the decoration. So with the recipe of this frosting, I also want to mention that it is enough to cover this cake and it basically yields enough for you to fill it and frost it entirely. And at the end, you are left with approximately about two thirds of a cup or about half a cup of frosting that you can definitely add in or use to decorate your cake with any way you want. But I just wanna let y'all know that because sometimes you guys ask me and I forget to let you know, but the recipe of the frosting is definitely enough to cover this cake. As you can see here, I definitely was not trying to make this cake perfect at all. So basically my goal was to create a rustic looking cake. And what you see in a little bit is that I'll actually go ahead and take my spatula and while rotating my turntable, I'm simply going to take the edge of the spatula and run it to the top of my cake, creating a more rustic look. And that's basically what I was going for. So my tip to you is just to enjoy cake decorating. Don't try to make everything so perfect to the point where it stresses you out. Enjoy it. It doesn't really matter that it's perfect or if it's not perfect, what matters is that you enjoy it. And I really hope that I portrayed this in this cake. I hope that you like the recipe and I hope that it inspires you to try this at home and definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you've ever tried another color of velvet cake. Let me know what you'll be doing to celebrate Easter or if you like chocolate eggs, what brand of chocolate eggs do you like? I will leave you with a few more photos and videos of this cake. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you try the sugar art. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like and share this video with a friend. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.